A partnership is a legal relationship between two or more persons who agree to go into business together for profit. In the 1999 case Holmes v. Lerner, the California Court of Appeal considered whether parties may form a partnership without explicitly agreeing to share in profits. Sandra Lerner was an entrepreneur and business person who co-founded Cisco Systems, a multinational technology company with her husband, Len Bosnak. Patricia Holmes was Lerner's friend who owned a horse training facility that Lerner used for her horses. In 1995, Lerner and Holmes traveled together to a horse show in England and decided during the trip to travel to Dublin to celebrate Lerner's 40th birthday. While in Dublin, Holmes couldn't find a suitable color for her nail polish and instead developed her own color by mixing polishes. Later, when Lerner and Holmes returned to the United States, they talked about starting a cosmetics company together. Lerner then called David Soward, her business consultant, about the idea and asked Soward to check if the name Urban Decay was available to be trademarked. In addition to being Lerner's business consultant, Soward was also a general partner of AND Capital, a venture capital partnership between Soward, Lerner, and Bosnak. During a meeting, Soward agreed to provide $500,000 toward the project. The company was then financed entirely by AND Capital. In the months that followed, a trademark for Urban Decay was obtained and the company was incorporated. However, soon afterward, Holmes, uncertain about what her rights were in the company, asked for something in writing, but Lerner and Holmes never explicitly agreed to share in profits. Further, when Holmes requested a copy of the Articles of Incorporation, she only received the first two pages. In 1996, Holmes received a document from Soward offering her a 1% ownership interest in Urban Decay. Subsequently, Holmes sued Lerner and Soward in State Superior Court for breach of contract and intentional interference with contractual relations. In response, Lerner and Soward claimed that Holmes was never a director, officer, or even an employee of Urban Decay. Following trial, a jury found in favor of Holmes and awarded her nearly $1.5 million in damages. Lerner and Soward moved for a judgment notwithstanding the verdict, which the Superior Court denied. Lerner and Soward then appealed to the California Court of Appeal.